Well, today, the Texas Education Agency held a Q&A session without, with Houston HISD teachers. And this comes as questions still surround the state agency's takeover of HISD. Fox 26's Gabby Hart was there as teachers exited that meeting. She joins us live now. Gabby, what do these teachers have to say? Uh, well, they had a lot to say, Sherman. Now, the media wasn't invited to listen in on this meeting, but I can tell you these teachers were not happy, and they say they didn't like the tone of the commissioner and that they still have more questions than they do answers. Not inviting the media does not speak well of, of the values uh, that he um, claims to, to represent. On Tuesday evening, teachers exited Del Mar Stadium after meeting with the Texas Education Agency Commissioner Mike Morath. Most of us missed class for this. I think I'd have rather been with my students. And to say they were less than pleased with what came out of that meeting would be an understatement. Felt like we were being talked down to in some ways. We felt like stepchildren um, who just are receiving the, the news from the parents about about the divorce. The TEA announced the state takeover of HISD schools in mid-March, and these teachers say that there are still critical questions they need answers to, answers they hope they'd get at Tuesday's meeting. People were asking about school closures. People were asking about charter schools. People were asking about uh, teacher pay. People were asking about what interventions were going to take place. And how will we be able to, to hold those board of managers accountable? How can we ensure that they are responsive to, to the needs of our schools and our communities? But those we spoke with say they left with unresolved issues, unanswered questions, and even more frustrated than when they arrived. The the response was vague and it was um, frustrating. Again, the vast majority of answers were it'll be up to the board of managers. Again, an unelected body. Now, next month, Commissioner Morath is expected to announce the nine, the nine board of managers that he selected, along with the name of the new superintendent. These teachers say that they hope once that happens, they'll start getting some real answers and a bit more transparency.